Hi family, how are you? I hope y'all are doing fantastic. I am well, I'm chilling. Everything's really going pretty well over here. Um, I saw evidence of this revolutionary war we've been in ending yesterday. I think it might be over. <laughs> Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think it is. Um, I ended up stopping at a park called Paul Revere Park. And it had a commemorative sign. And you know, Paul Revere is the one that went around and, and yelled, the British are coming in the Revolutionary War, save the day or whatever. Um, well, this park is named after him. And there's a commemorative of the Revolutionary War. And it was from 1924 exactly 100 years ago. Um, and it was, it, the commemorative was, I don't, I don't know my dates or anything, but the commemorative was after the war because it said the daughters of uh, the revolutionary, I don't know, you'll have to look at my shorts. But anyways, regardless, the point of the story is, I think the war's over. Um, yeah, and it's kind of, I'm seeing this like rags to riches situation. I just posted a, a reading over on TikTok and it didn't upload on my phone again. So I couldn't bring it to YouTube, but it's basically what that, that reading was rags to riches. Let's pull some more cards and see what God wants to talk about. Inverted Nine of Pentacles to the Hierophant. <laughs> okay, so this is talking about somebody trying to take out a spiritual leader. Make sure that they are not financially independent. Ruin their finances. Ruin the finances of somebody that channels God. <laughs> okay. They were coming out in the last reading, too. The resistance is, um, has very strong emotions right now. And so it's really popping up into our little energy field here. <clears throat> Reconnect with Mother Earth. Plant, garden, harvest. I was thinking about that yesterday. This is harvest season. Fall's harvest season, spring. Uh, okay, so winter time, you um, set your intentions, basically, of what you're going to plant, the crops that you're going to plant in the spring. In the spring, you're planting your crops. In the summer, you're tending to your crops. You know, all this last summer, we have been tending to our projects, to our creations, to the things we've been bringing to life in the new world or for the new world, however you want to look at that. But, um, yeah, har harvest time is in fall. This is the time when you get to pick your fruits and vegetables and enjoy your harvest. Enjoy the fruits of your labor. Um, yeah, it's a good sign. It's a good season. Plus it's sweater weather. You can't beat that. I love sweater weather. Number nine, blessings of Kumu. No good thing shall be withheld. <clears throat> nine is another nine. Well, my last reading was nine, nine, nine in it. Here we have nine, nine. Um, endings, new beginnings. It's the end of this revolutionary war. And we're starting fresh. And this is when you will be getting your blessings. Now is when you get your blessings. 
the war's over. Oh my gosh, my head is so itchy, weird, staticky. I'm like, my whole body is like static electricity right now. And it's like, seems like it's trying to discharge off the top of my head. <clears throat> but it doesn't when you touch it. It's not like you get sparks or anything. I don't know. It's the strangest thing. Forty-two. Kayini. In each other, we find ourselves. This is talking about seeing God and others. Um, seeing yourself and others, seeing God and others. This is a time that the collective is going to be reconnecting with each other and reconnecting with the earth. Oh, it's also tree planting season. If you go to the Arbor Day Foundation, they have this thing. I haven't gone there this year, but they have this thing usually where if you donate, it used to be $10. I think it's 20 now, but you donate 10 or $20 and they give you like 15, 20 trees. They're little seedlings and they send you like different ones <clears throat> that are good for the climate in your area. But I've literally, I just trimmed the trees in my yard yesterday. It was so awesome. The trees that I planted when I first moved into this house 11 years ago now. And they are so big. I have this huge pear tree that has so many pears on it. I decided I should probably learn how to can. <laughs> I should probably do that this year. Um, cause I love pears. They're so good. And, um, my best friend Mark used to always say they were like, <clears throat> they were like time release water. <laughs> eating pears was like eating time release water. I miss that guy. But, um, anyways. So, yeah. It's tree planting season. It's harvest season. There's like... Um, it's time to enjoy the, the fruits of your labor. Forty two breaks down to a six. There's balance coming in here. Oh my gosh, this, this energy is really, really strong, like good, but it's really strong. Openness again, eighteen. I got this last reading. Um, yeah, the divine wants the collective to become open to love again, um, open to loving yourself, which obviously you've been working on that, um, open to loving another, the rest of the people that you can see yourself in. It's not so scary when you look at these people and you see yourself, okay? And there's probably not too many people that you run into on earth that are this way. Because we've been separated. <clears throat> we are the lighthouses. And lighthouses don't all stand together on the shore. They get separated and they all get put in a really dangerous spot. And that's what happened to the, uh, to the collective. So when you run into other fellow chosen ones, you're going to recognize the lighthouse. It's not going to be as scary as you think, probably. You've probably been alone for a long time um, and learned to love it as I have. <laughs> But love is coming in, unconditional love. The hydrangeas are just 
Blau right now. So are the <clears throat> Black Eyed Susans bringing in justice. They're really, really doing good right now, too. And the roses bringing in love and passion and fertility. They're really happy right now, too. And the squirrels, the squirrels, every squirrel I saw yesterday had a nut. None of them would let me see them. They were all hiding behind trees and stuff. It was funny, but um, it's I think it was because they had a nut, you know. And they all wanted to go bury their nut, be left alone. So that's what the collective is doing. They're collecting their nuts, their harvest, and protecting them. We've learned boundaries now. We've learned to protect our nuts. <laughs> um, and trust me, chosen ones have big nuts. Big cojones. And we've learned to protect them. So that's what this season is about. Collecting our nuts and protecting them as we should. And then connecting with our fellow godheads. Let me pull a few more cards here. Game over, five of swords. <clears throat> Yeah, it's game over for these people that were trying to take away your financial independence. Game over. They are in their head about it. They're freaking out. <clears throat> the crows have been telling me about this, too. They're all, like, kind of in some weird psychotic state where they're secluding themselves. Um, they're not hanging out together right now. They're kind of like sitting alone, talking to themselves and, um, you know, rocking back and forth, that kind of energy. Um, yeah, they're in a pretty bad state of mind. I guess there's nothing to talk about anymore. What's done is done is what I just heard too of swords peace peace is coming in um five of swords again inverted <laughs> um what does this one say defeat yeah they weren't able to defeat you they defeated themselves. I've been getting these cards so much since I combined my decks. Like, I, a lot of times I will get one card upright and the same card inverted. It's like this switcheroo going on right now because they've had everything imbalanced and weighted on their side. And that mechanism that they were using which was our protection it broke they broke their mechanisms they broke their chosen ones <laughs> and um it doesn't work anymore so now everything that they were putting on you is going on them and you're gonna be wildly successful like i just saw another brown squirrel uh, because you persevered through this mess through this Five of Swords feeling, a feeling of being defeated, a feeling of there's nothing you can do to fix your situation. Nothing. That's how they're feeling right now. They're all sitting alone, talking to themselves, feeling like there's nothing they can do. But it's a little bit different than when it happened to you because you had a soul, a conscience, a guidance from spirit to pull yourself out of it and they have cut themselves off from spirit 
So unless they figure out how to start praying, turning to God, asking for help. Asking for help is very important, by the way. Um, unless they do that, they're going to remain in this state of mental chaos. Um, it's just going to keep getting worse and worse because their foundations are crumbling. Their connection with their um devil god is severed there is no devil god there's only one god um and that's love so i think i'm gonna leave that here um and i will get back to you guys very soon i love you so much have a beautiful day thank you